Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are going to be doing your Samhain spread for Halloween. Now in this message, we are going to tap into what you need to release through the next six months, what's going to be coming in, but most importantly, we are going to be tapping into any messages from our ancestors. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If that's something that you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, then there's going to be something in the message for you. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive right into Pisces energy for your Samhain reading. And let's see what is going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What do my Pisces and friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Hanged Man, Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant. My first instinct is this is like trying to make a decision in regards to career, work, business. Like which path do I take? Which road do I choose? And in this decision making, there's this like feeling stuck. So we'll see how this plays out into your message here, Pisces. See if we can get down to the nitty gritty and what you should do, which decision you should make. So we have the Hermit, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, of course. The Five of Wands the ace of pentacles with the tower decisions decisions i feel like there's about to be a new opportunity that's presented to you but it's almost like you have to start taking action towards what it is that you desire first and so if you have a desire in your heart to start a business by all means, let's see. Just do a little bit of research and start. Competition doesn't matter. So the hermit is like taking time, isolating yourself from the world, trying to get clear on what it is you should do next or where you should focus your energy. Let's clarify the hermit for Pisces, please and thank you definitely feel like you're holding back. And here's why I feel like there's no need to worry about competition. Everybody brings a different vibe to the table. Okay. I feel like there are some things and maybe this is the shadow energy. It can be related to addiction or a person in your life who has a uh, tendency to try to control everything. And this is something that you're having to kind of distance yourself from. And through this process, there are going to be new opportunities, new experiences that are coming in. But I feel like that's a decision that's already been made. I feel like you've already made the decision to walk away. It's just like the, the, the detail, like getting things situated or moving things along those lines. 
I do feel like even if you feel like you're stuck in a situation where maybe you don't want to take action yet, it's still going to be important to make a plan. If you have a plan already for when X, Y, and Z takes place, it's going to be easier for you to take action once you do get that space. Okay? So don't hold back. Still, there are little baby steps that you can take, even if they're just small. Okay? Clarify the Four of Pentacles. For some of you, this may resonate with more people than I realize. There are some experiences from your childhood that you're still holding on to. Not that that should stop you, even though right now that is. I always feel like it's important to push through fear. Fear, back when we were cavemen, served its purpose because... Well, it helped keep us safe. But if there is like a business that you're having this idea to start and fear is holding you back, how is fear keeping you safe in that scenario? It's only hindering your growth. So your message from your ancestors here, Pisces, is no more. No more holding yourself back. It's time to take action. It's, it's time to push through the fear. And this has been a message that has been coming out for many signs in different aspects. So I think it was Aries. Maybe Aries or uh, Leo had a fear message like fear was holding them back from a relationship which I feel like this is more of a business aspect for you it's like there's a lot of competition it's like where do I put my energy how do I market my business it's all gonna come together and here's what I will also say here's what I know to be true when something is meant to be for you it's just gonna line up perfectly it's just gonna be like this it's not going to be any no holds barred, okay? So you're not going to be held back by fear, by opportunities. Everything is going to align. If everything isn't aligning for you, it's not the right time or it's not the right thing. Which I don't feel like either of those are the case. I feel like you're on to something, Pisces. It's time. It's time to stop letting the fear holding you back from this business opportunity. And it's time to take action. Okay. Which brings us to the tower and what's to come. And I just want to point out the sun on the bottom of the clarifying deck for the three of swords and the queen of wands. So the tower doesn't always have to be bad. It's just something that happens out of nowhere that redirects your life. Okay. And I feel like this is something that you've already decided it's all about lining everything up. And so you're going to know Pisces when it's for you, when it just happens so easy. It's just going to be smooth like butter. There's not going to be any qualms, anything that holds you back. It's just going to all line up and it's all going to be so easy. It's all going to flow. Okay. So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And here's what I will also say. If it's not flowing, don't give up. That just means take some time and hone in, get crystal clear on the plan. You know, take time to the plan. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not the right thing. It can also be not the right time. So Pisces, thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, ritual kits, personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person.
Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords. New beginnings, new opportunities, new experiences. But right now you're hanging yourself up because there's decisions that need to be made. There's changes that are happening. And I feel like they are happening. It's in the process. Okay. One thing I will say that's going to be important for you is not giving up so easily, not letting go so easily when it comes to this business venture and getting clear on the plan. So what does it look like? What are the steps that you need to take to get to the outcome that you desire? There are going to be some new blessings, new beginnings, new experiences that are going to be presented to you once you make this move. Once you're able to let go of this toxic person, place, or thing that's holding you back. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Balance means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every area of your life. Many times when you look at a situation objectively, you will resonate with one side more than the other. Try not to view either as good or bad, but simply recognize that it is. The true nature of the scales of balance is to give both sides of a situation your equatable objective perspective. It can be different to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that's a lesson in itself. What it, is it about you that prevents you from giving both sides of the coin your non-judgmental assessment? The situation or person has been placed in your path to teach you that everyone has his or her own unique, authentic story. And you must put yourself in the person's shoes to really understand their motivation. Balance is a godly virtue, and if struck, you will reap benefits of insight and compassion. The balance, I feel, is talking about finding that balance within. I have an inkling that this toxic thing that you're needing to release yourself from, from Pisces is something that's inner. And that's okay. Um, and it takes time. A lot of times we do things to distract ourselves from life because things aren't exactly where we want them to be. But how do we get them to where we need them to be? We have to make a plan and take action. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you guys. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m., most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. Also for events to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up and 
to interact, whether it be a day or a two day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing and I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.